you. Wow, thank you. I'm Susan McPherson, and I'm really, really excited to be here. But before I jump into my presentation, let me see a show of hands. How many of you feel lost or have felt lost? Come on. All right, yes, good. <laughs> and, well, I, I certainly know that, that kind of nasty feeling when you, you are like dragging yourself to the office because you just know it's gonna suck when you get there. Yeah? Well, this was me two years ago. After 17 years at the same damn company, I was completely at the end of my road with no more challenges, nowhere to go, and just a feeling of just utter depression. And quite frankly, in all fairness, the company had been good to me. I had grown and, and experienced things, but at this point, with no positive social impact, I felt just handcuffed to the wall horribly. And my biggest failure was I could not seem to figure out the next step. I was just completely stuck. And time was ticking, and it was just driving me crazy. Now, interestingly enough, I had been through challenges, many. I lost my mother to a horrible hotel fire in 19, uh, when I was 20, where 97 people were killed. I got through a defeated marriage after 11 years by packing up and traveling cross-country and moving to New York City where I didn't know anybody and starting over. I even had to learn to have sex again, and I was in my 40s. <laughs> so, not a good situation to be in. And then, uh, just a couple of years ago, I had to watch the slow death of my father, who became ill following a root canal operation. So why, if I had, could overcome these challenges, could I not do the self-reflection necessary to move on? Now, every day I had been not only working, but also putting a lot of effort into nonprofits and causes that I believed in. And I was the go-to person for everyone else having problems and challenges. So again, why could I not solve this goddamn problem and, and just move on. I just couldn't seem to solve the puzzle. Well, during the past couple of years, I had become interested in business being a force for good. Combined with my passion for working in nonprofits, and, or excuse me, volunteering in nonprofits, and I thought, hmm, maybe this could help. And then if I could combine that positive good passion, I could bottle that passion up and figure out my next career move or my next step. And then the light bulb went off, corporate social responsibility, which is a word, CSR, we're hearing a lot about today. So through the support of my partner, my friends, my love of connectivity and technology, I was able to harness a sense of fearlessness to open the doors necessary to get to that next step. Now, and this is where I ended up. I met a firm called Fenton that we have a 30-year history of doing positive social good in the world. Every day we are helping populations of people have a better life. And I'm blessed to work with these wonderful people who, whether stopping puppy mills, helping stop fracking, helping save a species from extinction, there is never a dull moment. And it's so inspiring to be, again, with these fun people. So, I have really found what, what I'm happiest doing. I am motivated every day, and I'm paid to do what I love. How awesome is that? You've got to love it. So if you are in a job that is anything less than just totally invigorating, move on. We have so many resources at our disposal where we can actually meet anyone, anywhere, anytime. So take advantage of it, whether it's through Reddit, Facebook, Twitter, the hundreds of thousands of groups on LinkedIn. You literally can get information in seconds and minutes rather than weeks and days. So what are you waiting for? We can make change happen, but we have to be open to the self-reflection necessary to find, to find that, that next step. And take advantage of every meetup and tweet up and conference and symposium that's out there. Well, I can tell you one thing. If you do the self-reflection and be open to curiosity and risk-taking, you can make it happen. The sun will rise tomorrow, 
So what are you going to do to make change happen? Thank you.